Uh, what I want to do is if I have I play baseball in the summer, let's write it in conditional form. Remember, conditional form is the if then. So if I play baseball, then it is the summer. Okay, very much kind of the same thing we talked about, but we want to make sure we go in our sequential order. And the main important thing about this, Alexandra, is we have the if and the then, all right? And when we're writing a conditional statement, we write it as if P, then Q, all right? P is the hypoth hypothesis, and Q is the conclusion, all right? So now the next thing I asked you guys to do was what about finding the converse? Well, if you guys want to know what the converse is, the converse is if Q, then P. So then that would be if it is the summer, then I play baseball. Okay. So again, we still have our if, and we still have our then. All right? Then we go into the inverse. And the inverse simply says not P, then not Q. Okay? Remember that little squiggly we called the inverse within the negation. So the inverse, you could say if I do not play baseball, then it is not summer. All right, so one easy way, guys, to kind of remember all this stuff is remembering these notation, P, Q, if P, then Q, if Q, then P, if not P, then if not Q. And the last one we want to go over is the contrapositive. And the contrapositive is not Q, then not P. So the contrapositive in this case is if it is not summer, well, let's write that in there. So if it is not summer, then I do not play baseball. P and Q just represent the hypothesis and the conclusion. Right? Remember, this is your hypothesis, which we can call P, and this is your conclusion, which we call Q. So rather than writing it out all the time, I can just use notation of P and Q. Right? This whole thing, once you follow the if, that's what we call the hypothesis, right? So we can represent that whole statement just as a letter P. You don't have to know all of this. If you can remember, you switch the hypothesis and the conclusion, and you negate them, and then you switch the negation. If you can remember that, that's fine. A lot of times, students, just it's easier sometimes to remember the letters and then to say, all right, P is the hypothesis, Q is the conclusion, and then you can just rewrite what exactly they mean. All right. So on grading on your uh, homework quiz, what I'd like you guys to do is, obviously, if you got the problem, if you got every single one of those.